Hello everyone, welcome back. If you're new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. Please subscribe if you enjoy content like this and don't forget to hit your bell so you can get notified every time I upload. Also remember to like, comment, and share as it helps to grow our channel. As the title suggests, this is the latest on Huxley Stouffer, so I wanted to recap what led to all of this. I'll let the Stouffers explain. So this is by far the hardest video James and I have ever yeah. publicly had to make. But before I get into the video, I did just wanna say thank you to how amazing our viewers have been. We have some viewers who have been just like so incredibly kind and respectful of our son's privacy. I just want to say thank you. Like that really got me through some really hard times and I just want to say thanks. Like you have no idea what that means to me and the, some of the special messages that you've sent. Like just thank you. Thank you for the most ever. I can't say enough how hard Micah has tried throughout this entire journey and the amount of effort she's put into this and helping Huxley as much as she can. So I mean, you guys have been part of this adoption journey even before you know we, we picked up Huxley throughout the whole process. And you know, with international adoption, sometimes there's unknowns and things that are not transparent on files and things like that. And once Huxley came home, there was a lot more special needs that we weren't aware of and that we were not told. So over the past few years, Huxley's been in numerous therapies to try to help him with all of his needs. And over the last year has been a more intense therapy that he's been in to try to help him as much as possible with his, with his severe needs. And for us, it's been really hard hearing from the medical professionals, a lot of their feedback and things that have been upsetting, really upsetting for us because this is not what we've ever wanted to hear. We've never wanted to be in this position and we've been trying to get him, get his needs met and help him out as much as possible. It's really hard, is it? I mean, we truly love him. There's not an ounce of our body that doesn't love Huxley with all of our being. There wasn't a, a minute that I didn't try our hardest and I think what Jim's trying to say is that after multiple assessments, after multiple evaluations, numerous medical professionals have felt that he needed a different fit and that his medical needs, he needed more. We, we haven't made this video yet. It's because we've been trying to protect his privacy, his rights, and also just try to not mess up his future that was laid out in front of us. We're trying our best to make sure we don't impact that at all by making this video and then... And that's why like on Instagram and stuff I've tried to like let you know as little as I could but I couldn't tell you anymore because I didn't want to mess anything up with what's going on legally and if I said something was I gonna mess up things for his future? <sighs> And it's just been a really hard place to be in, like, because you're grieving. You, I want to share with you guys, like, I know deep down inside that I don't have to say anything. Like, I'm not, I don't have to say this. I don't have to, but I want to, like, I want to tell you, you guys have been there for us for so much. And I want to, I want to fill you in on what's going on and what hard, like, do I feel like a failure as a mom? Like 500%. So when you get like insidious, hurtful comments it just like really makes it hurt worse it's not about me at all but it's just like this journey has been the last couple months have been like the hardest thing i could have ever imagined going to choosing to do because ultimately after pouring our guts in our heart into this little boy the reason why we can't go into detail of what actually transpired is because we're truly going to protect Huxley's privacy and not let people know what happened, what everything that went on to make us make this decision. this decision or to even come to medical professionals with the need to get more help. Anything that happened in the home that was hard for Hux, that's not fair for me to put out there publicly. That's his privacy. So we're not going to talk. 
talk about that. That's not, that's not appropriate. Like that's, and that'll never be appropriate. I didn't adopt a little boy to share these things publicly. Every now and then you may have gotten like a teeny like struggle or like a hardship when I was trying to be like really raw and real, but we haven't intentionally, like day mm -hmm. one intentionally, 99, 95% of the struggles we have never Not publicly sure. aired ever, ever with pure intent of respecting his privacy, not to give you a fake facade or to be lack of transparency, but to respect our son's privacy. And this is all that we're okay with sharing. The reason we haven't updated you sooner is because the medical professionals, the agencies, multiple people have been allowing for Huxley to spend time with some different people to see and to make the perfect match and fit for his now new forever family. From the updates we've gotten from the agency and through the adoption agency, like they were able to place him in what they felt was literally the perfect match. When we met, like Jimmy said earlier, when we got hugs, we didn't know a lot of these unknowns. And when agencies or adoption agencies have more pieces to the pie or they have more pieces, it makes the matching process a little better yeah. or a healthier match. And they found somebody that they felt would be ultimately the best fit and he is thriving he is very happy he's doing really well and his new mommy has medical training. professional training and it is a very good fit and i ask everyone that you know watches this video that supports our family you know give us grace give us the support and the privacy that we need during this time for ourselves and for huxley please just respect his privacy and just know that like we may come on socials like when I, for my channel, the reason I started my channel is to be positive and to bring people positivity, even though we're struggling and that when we talk about Hux, it's a huge wound for us. Just because I may be positive on my stories or be having fun, doing something fun, doesn't mean that I'm not like still horribly hurting Agreed. and the same for Jim. So like, just please have grace with us because even though we don't share that publicly, we are still struggling. I mean, we're going to be heartbroken for a very long time absolutely so thank you for everything and we just really appreciate all of your support and kindness but just please respect, respect our, our privacy. privacy and respect this too i can never get over how rehearsed this video is where at the end they both say in unison please respect our privacy anyways in case you didn't see this video before these are the stofers reinventing or actually inventing a word the now famous word rehoming which is code for returning your adopted child kind of like the way gwyneth paltrow introduced us all to two words conscious uncoupling aka a divorce well miss micah has been busy typing away and she has issued a lengthy apology for all the hurt she's caused. I also wanted to add that in her apology, she mentioned the financial burden that was associated with caring for Huxley and that it contributed to their decision to rehome him. However, as of this month, it is reported that her net worth is $167,000. In addition to their apology, the attorney for the family has made a statement on their behalf basically saying that after the investigation as to huxley's location and well-being the stofers have been absolved of all legal wrongdoing associated with huxley's removal from the home also i might add a deputy suzanne leonard of the delaware sheriff's office states that huxley seems very active and has shown no signs of any abuse from what she could visibly see. She also said that when she walked into the office, the new adoptive mother was singing a song to Huxley and he was sitting on her lap smiling and that he appeared to be very happy and well taken care of. Finally, if I might add, James Stouffer, the husband, the former father, as of June 19th, has resumed posting videos, yes. And the first video he has posted was about detailing a car. Yeah, and there has been no mention of Huxley.
So there you have it. They adopted a child from China, decided they no longer wanted to deal with the challenges associated with a special needs child, which they were aware of, and then returned said child, Huxley, with no consequences, further resuming their life as if nothing happened. This is the world we live in, everyone, where you can traumatize a child and live your life as if it was all a bad dream. These are just my thoughts. Comment below whether you agree or you don't, and I will catch you in the next one. Goodbye.